you talk in the book about the anthropology of debt. Mm -hmm. What is that? So while I was traveling around um, the world looking at money, uh, people almost universally see money as a way to measure debts. So just if you think about it as an inch or a kilometer is a measurement of distance, think about money as a measurement for debt, right? And so, for example, I was in Japan and I bought some really delicious fruit for a friend of mine. And he said, Kabir, I cannot accept this from you. And I said, well, why not? He says, well, you're leaving back for New York. I'll never be able to repay this. Huh. And the word arigato in Japanese means it is too difficult, meaning it's too difficult for me to accept this. Sumisayan, another word that means thank you, is, uh, is an ap apologetic saying, I, I really can't accept it. Do not give mm. this to me. In Japan, for example, when you go to a, a wedding and you tie the ribbon on the present, you have to tie it perfectly because if you tie it too loosely, you may imply that the wedding may not last, uh -huh. the marriage may not last. When you go to a department store, right, you have to make sure that, that they're wrapping the present because if you do a poor job, you may imply that um, they're not, that you haven't spent the right amount of time uh, packaging the present. Wow. So why do I, these are all these cultural quirks. Wherever you go in the world, there's all these cultural quirks around how people deal with debt, right? Mm. So that's Japan. It's peculiar to us, right? Um, it's peculiar, in Japan, it's peculiar that we buy chocolates for each other on Valentine's Day mm. for people that we're romantically involved with. 70% of women in, in Japan report buying chocolates to men they feel obligated to who have helped them in their career. Huh. It's called obligation chocolate, chocolate ungiri, right? And so that's peculiar. And I've given the example about Jamie Dimon. He keeps, you know, in America, he keeps a list in his breast pocket of people who owe him something. So we all talk about, you know when you say, oh, I owe you one, mm -hmm. I invested in that friendship, I spent time with him. We're all tracking um, who's, who we're we good with and who's, we're not, we're not good with, right? And so that idea of money is debt is, is so universal to how we live and how we harmonize with people in the world.